Hey, I'm Johannes, and I'm a maker. And although I'm not a maker by trade, there's not a single day in my life where I don't do anything with my own hands. I grew up in a family of makers. My parents had a company that produced handmade wooden toys for children. My dad is a carpenter. So most things I remember from my earliest childhood is me playing with different types of wood dust and all kinds of wood. And of course, watching my parents work with wood, sewing, drawing, doing pottery, this list can go on and on. My home is full of stuff they or I did with their own hands. You may think that my career of being a maker started way earlier, but I was 19 when I really got into it. Four years earlier, I started playing the guitar, and it happened that I saw some musicians playing a popular acoustic guitar. You know, that one with the birds on the pickguard. It was so expensive, and I couldn't afford it. But somehow a DIY guitar building video showed up on my YouTube feed. Damn, that got me. I think I've binge watched all videos that were available back then, read books, and finally bought the tone route to build my own acoustic guitar. Back then, I couldn't saw straight. I didn't know how to use a hand plane or anything else. I kept on watching and learning on YouTube, asked my dad for help and learned from my mistakes. It took me more than one year and in the end it was not playable. I was so disappointed but a friend of mine came and told me to build him an electric bass. His believing in me made me keep going on. I built that bass. Since then I built an electric guitar, multiple acoustic guitars, various other instruments, repaired dozens of guitars and did so much more stuff. I get so much into woodworking and working with my hands that I can't remember how it is not to do. Now it is like I first try to do it myself. If it won't work, I still can buy it. Being a maker is something special nowadays. For my grandparents and all the generations before, it was the standard. They did everything by hand. They were makers, because they needed to be. I don't think that they were trained and taught, but growing up in a world where everybody is doing things with their hands, you learn a lot. You just have to train your muscle memory. Learning, making and teaching it to the next generation is in the human DNA, I think. That's why I created this YouTube channel. Sharing wins, fails and the process of making with you is all about what makers should do. Not broke is a word in a German dialect. Nord is the location where I live, in the north of Germany. Broke can mean forest close to a bigger river or the coast, or the end and start of something new. Both fits, curse. When I go north, there will only be the North Sea. And I definitely started new when I became a maker. I will keep on learning, making and sharing it. I welcome you to join me. Thanks for watching. I am Johannes and this is Nordbrook.